will and I'm packing I am packing I'm packing it literally so today I'm going to show you how I'm packing for a crop that I'm going to because I've never gone to an overnight crop before I've gone to day crops that are like six I think six hours long is the longest I've been to and this one is three nights so I was like what the frig do I take obviously I'm gonna to pack too much you know me but I thought I would show you what I'm gonna take because I didn't know I had no clue so I YouTubed um, and searched for a few things and I got some good advice so I'd like to share that with you guys and kind of put it all into one video and I'm gonna take my trusty Raskog. I should give him a name. What can I call Raskog, Aaron? Ralph from Raskog? Nah. Rassy. Rassa. Rassa. Rassa the Raskog. Make it a bit Aussie. Um, so I'm gonna take Rassa. And yeah, we're gonna have balls. So I'm leaving Thursday. It check ins at three, but I'm working, so leaving Thursday afternoon and then I won't be back until Sunday evening so it's going to be a big one I hope to get lots of layouts done um, I might do a little vlog or something while I'm there but yeah stay tuned to see what I pack and what I don't pack I guarantee I forget at least one thing and you'll be there at the screen going Adele you forgot about this I'll forget like photos or something vital knowing me all right so stay tuned oh hang on I'll show you what I've got Actually, I might give you a bit of a new space tour. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, hang on. Don't know if this is working out. This is my new space. So, there's Arwen. Say hi, Arwen. Hello. So we changed the lounge room up. Hang on. Back it up. Back it up. Usually it looks a lot nicer than this, but I have my stuff in the middle of it. But yeah, look at all this space. Woo! I put a photo on my Instagram. So all we did kind of is move Aaron's desk over to this side and then my desk over here. So I turned it around and then that's still there. And then our lounge room is now there. That washing basket is there because the bunnies are trying to dig. So we've given them a box, which they're loving, but you know what they're like. Let's go see if we can find them. Hang on. Let's go on an adventure. Adventure time. Come on, bring your friends. We'll find the bunnies. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, there's two of them. Hang on. Hello, bunnies. Is it bunny sleeping time? You look very relaxed. Okay, well, let you sleep then. All right, let's start with this. So I have ordered online a um, a little crop tote, I think they're called. It's like a little bag with pockets around the outside. You've probably seen them around before. But, of course, it hasn't arrived, has it? So this is just going to be my makeshift desktop essentials container. So I just grabbed a pretty container from $2 shop that I had lying around, and this is actually an IKEA candle holder. Um, and I'm just going to leave this on my desk. So this is going to have all the bits and pieces that I always reach for. So first up, let's go scissors. So of course I'm going to take my giant scissors and what I've done is I've put, I don't know if you can see it, hang on. I've put little bunny washi tape around the handle. Whoa, doesn't want to focus on it. Focus, there we go. Um, put little bunny washi tape around the handle and just wrote my initials on them. Not that I think they'll go walking, but just in case I drop them on the floor. Knowing me, I always seem to put them under things and then grab things out and they just go and they just go flying away. So um, that's a little tip to label your things either with washi or just your uh, permanent texture. These are another nice sharp pair. And then I just picked two little ones. This one. I can't, it's a bit gluey, so I need to clean those before we go. So a couple of pairs of scissors, um, adhesives, just reach across you. All right, so of course I'm down to my two last rolls of tape runner, but 
I'm just going to deal with it and I've got double sided tape so I'll save these for when I'm ultra lazy. So I put those in. I've got my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and I've done the same thing with the washi. Staples because you can't use your stapler without staples. Then I've just got a little glue stick. That's if I get super desperate. Um, this is my I call it my El Crapo washi tape because I don't like it um, but I use it for like if I'm doing a stencil and I need to stick it down I don't want to waste my nice washi so El Crapo washi tape comes along I've got some foam squares and a little bit of foam tape and two rolls of double sided tape now I'll put those in last because they do take up a bit of room and my um, quick dry adhesive and it's running I go through it very quickly. It's running kind of low, so I've got a spare one to take as well. Then pens, I'm only taking my white uni ball, my um, black uni jet stream, which is just like a black normal um, ballpoint pen, and then a Sharpie pen and just a, a Office Max felt tip. Um, other bits and pieces, I'm going to take a ruler because I'm taking my fuse tool and I might be using that to do some big pockets. I'm going to take a bone folder and I will be doing some mixed media stuff. So I'm going to take a scalpel, a couple of paint brushes, so a really giant one. And then just a couple of smaller ones, two spatulas, and my, I don't know what you call this, um, water sprayer thing, as I use that with my distress inks. I'm taking my beloved twine, which someone got into last week and had a great old time and chewed all of the stick and I can't be bothered to untie it so that's the way that it's traveling it's a bit like a <laughs> stabby stab thing um, and I'm just going to take the whole roll of that because I use it all the time I'm going to take a couple of blades for my paper trimmer actually I might put those I'm going to put those in my spare bits bag pop those on top because a lot of the time this stuff a lot of the stuff will be out of that so because it's full it's, it's all right I'm okay with it next up I'm going to chuck my baby wipes in the back now there's not there's still a decent amount in here so I'm just going to pop those behind and these snap um, flip pockets as well pop those in there then I've got let's see so this is just a little package of um, embellishments that I do go to a lot. So these little hearts, little circles, gold hearts, blackboard labels, and I found another pack of cork embellishments. I hope the lighting's all right. I have shocking lighting, guys. This area just does not get the sun. Hang on. No, that hasn't changed anything, Adele. Good try, though. A for effort. Um, then I've got my tiny word stickers and I've just put them on a big bulldog clip so they can go in there and they're already sliding out because I have too many but we'll pretend we didn't see that then my favorite my craft market and my confetti ones just on a separate one because they're the ones I usually use now I have one of these uh, Becky Higgins envelope pockets and I'm going to put some enamel dots in there because I don't want the enamel dots sticking to everything. So now I've got to pick. Hmm. So I'm just going to go through, I might put you on fast forward. No, I'm just going to go through and pick a few colours that I think so that I have enough and enough sizes and things. Okay, so I've picked my enamel dots and I know I've got way too many but I don't care because I just I would much rather have way too many than too little I just don't want to be fishing for um I'll put those in the extra one I don't want to be fishing for you know things and there is going to be a shop there but 
I figure if I take if I take more stuff, then I'd be less tempted. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a funny idea, isn't it? Um, I'd be less tempted to bring to buy too much stuff. So I'm gonna pop these in here. Yep, they're spewing out of there. Can we close it? Yes, we can. So there is my beloved enamel dots, and I'm just going to put that maybe at the back. There we go. Whoop. All right, so this is coming along quite nicely. I've got a bit of space at the front. Now, I do want to take my gesso with me, and I only have this giant bottle, so that might be a good thing to put there because. I'm going to put a bit of washi tape or something just to make sure. I'll sit this in the front seat of my car, but just to make sure it doesn't decide to open. And then I should probably put some modelling paste in there too. I don't really want to take my giant jar. See if I've got a smaller one. Okay, so luckily I found a smaller bottle of moulding paste. That fits perfectly. And I'm also going to put my... Heidi Shine, my gold in there. Oh, perfect. All right, so, oh, why, why are you not like it, camera? Sorry. Um, so there you go. That is going to be my desktop little bits and pieces. And I'm kind of glad that the tote didn't arrive because um, I'm really liking how this worked out. So now we have to do the hard, so that was the easy bits, but now we have to do the hard stuff. Mm. Oh, hang on. Can I fit one more thing in? Can I fit this behind here? Yes. Yes. So there's my trimmer. So that I can easily reach it. All right. Now for the hard stuff. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So, so far, this is all empty. This is what I've got. So this is my faithful crop bag, which I've used about three times had a long life hasn't it <laughs> um, and I just picked it up from Lincraft I think Lincraft in Australia I do want to get the um, close to my heart one but it's so expensive and I just I don't go to crops so I just can't but um, this this does me fine so I think it was about $20 and it's got a few different sections pretty big in the middle and it has a one of those things so what I did is I got my I'm pretty sure it's July hip kit and I just put it all in here but I'm going to do something with it in a moment so it's technically empty so I've got this this is going to be for my layouts that I do do <laughs> do do um, and I am going to put something in it, maybe some paper and all my other kits that I want to take with me. So it's dual purpose. I can use up the stuff that's in it and then I can put my layouts in it when I'm done. So I've got that and I picked that up from Spotlight. Found this little thing in my house, a little shopping basket thing. I thought that might be handy. I just grabbed a whole heap of containers, guys. I don't know what I'm using. So I've got that. Definitely using this, um, which is what I used to have my Project Life cards in. I'm going to use this for my embellishments that I haven't colour sorted that are my favourites, like all my crepe paper and stuff. So that's what that's for. This is another little container that I thought, I found this before I found that, so um, I probably won't end up using this, but it's from Ikea and it's just got different sections, so I thought it could be handy. Who knows? And then this one, this is just a crate, and I think I'm going to put my albums in it so that it's easy to um, to carry because I want to finish my wedding albums. And what I've done is I've put my photos in every protector so I know that what order they're in and all of that. And I kind of don't want to just take out the page protectors because then I'll forget what order they went in and it will drive me a bit batty. So I think I'm going to take all of my wedding albums I think um, I might just I'll just work on them day by day so I'll only take two in to start off with 
um, and then my Project Life album as well. Um, and I might even be able to squeeze in that empty layout container in here too. Um, and just put them in here and then I'll leave the rest of them in my car, which is good that I'll be driving so I can just put stuff in my car. Um, and then as I finish, because I've only got about maybe 10 layouts in each album to go. Um, so as I finish the first two albums, I'll swap them out for the next two. So that's going to be my album carrier. And then finally, I have, what do we call him? Raza. I have Raza the Razcog. I'm going to do something with this stuff. It's not staying like that. I've got these two little baskets down here and then an empty spot. So, yeah, we'll have to see what I can do with this. But I think that'll be enough. I think. I don't think I need this. Yeah. Surprise the bunnies haven't come out actually, to come see what's going on. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is the rascog that I'm taking and this is my favourite one that has all of my favourite things in it. So, I've got my container and now I'm going to put you on fast forward while I just put some little bits and pieces in the different sections and then rearrange this a little bit. Okay, so I've pretty much packed my embellishments. What I've got is, I've got a whole heap of frames. I've got my resin flowers. Now I know I could have picked through, but I couldn't really be bothered, so I just put them all in. This is um, Kiss Kiss, crepe paper, notes and things, and open book. I don't have much left there. This is confetti and craft market. I put them together because I got quite a few kits at the same time that had both of them, so they're together. This is Journey, and I've kept it in a little um, packet top. Stay. This is the open book floral pack. And then down there is um, Lucky Charm. I am a crepe paper fanatic. Just putting it out there. Here I've got some more frames. I really want to do some layouts to use up some frames. I've got some multiple photo ones that I want to do. And I've got some little pockets in here as well because I've got some that have I know I've got some layouts that I want to hide some um, extra photos and things in that one I've just got my DIY flare I've got some extra ones I've got some hearts and some circles to do in case I get bored from making layout after layout after layout I need some embellishing little downtime and then in this little one I've got the toothpick um, flags and paper clips that I made and those little mini Adele's, the little plastic Adele's, and I'm going to put some extra toothpicks in there too so I can make some more of those. In this last little spot I'm going to go through my flare container and my 3D embellishments container and put a few things in there because I don't want to take the whole thing and I'm also going to put my washi so I'll quickly go and do that. Okay so I've put in some flares, I've put my paper clips in a little bag just so I don't get all mixed up. I have some little bobby pin clip things to put in and I got this in a kit, a citrus twist kit. It says hello. Um, oh, where did you go? Um, but yeah, fluor orange isn't my thing so I'm going to put it in and try and challenge myself to colour it and change it a little bit. So that is going to be my embellishment container. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I could just look at that for hours and hours. That's when you know you're a scrap nerd, when you could just look at just things in containers, not even do anything with it, just look at it. So this is probably going to go maybe on one of the shelves of the Rascal because I don't really want to tip it. Oh, actually, it can go on the bottom of the 
the red basket, I think. Okay, so while we're on an embellishment thing, because you know, I'm not just taking that one box of embellishments. Mm -mm, that's not my style. So I have this glass dish and it's got little punched little bits that I cut out. So obviously you don't want to take this with me. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is see if I can find or maybe borrow from the 3D embellishments that little tackle box and put these in there. So I'll do that off camera. Then I've got my wood veneer box, which is coming with me like this because I love wood veneer. And I can just easily slip that into one of the bottoms of the Raskog shelf. So that's going to come with me. Obviously, if you want a wood veneer fanatic like I am, you could just pick out a few bits and pieces, but it's just not worth it when everything's packed like this. It makes it easier for unpacking. And then I have this little cutie, which I got from Scrapbook Cottage, I think. Um, and it has my color sorted embellishments. I have a video on this if you haven't watched that already. So I'm only going to take one of them. So I have two, but I'm just going to take the colors that I use most often so black pink red turquoise white and gray and gold and I'm just going to chuck in blue and I'll just put that in my um in my bag because I do I do use the blue as well but orange yellow green cork multi and cream and brown Ooh, can stay at home <laughs> you might say Del why don't you just throw out those embellishments if you're not going to use them but I do use them I just I can go without using them for four days so that's going in the Raskog. So you can see in the bottom I've just put my embellishment box, the new embellishment box. My wood veneers are underneath because this is like the exact height of that and I didn't want the wood veneers slipping off. I managed to slide that one down the side. And I can still fit something here. So what I might do is borrow from my other Raskog, this little container, and I'll think of something to put in there in a minute. Oh, I know what I'll put in there, but it has to wait. Okay, so this next shelf, I wanna make my mixed media kind of station. So, I've got, let's see. I wanna take my watercolors. Oh, I might put those in last, actually and my watercolour pencils, I'll pop those in last. Then, definitely going to take my gelatos. I'm going to take my, let's see, I might take some white gesso, because I might want to do something with that. I'm going to take my, I don't really have many mists, so I'm just going to take pink and coral, and my black ink. This is my new black. Actually, I should take that one too. Why not? I have been obsessing over these a little bit lately. So I'll pop those in. I'm going to take my three Dina Weekly Paints. And... Um, I might take this. I haven't used it yet. The Distress Stain in Cracked Pistachio. And the blue dabber, and I think that's all I need, pretty much. Or, or, or should I? Can I fit it? If I can fit it, then yes, I should. Yes, I should. Um, so that's that. Then on this side, let's see. My, oh, I've got to take my inks too. So this little container is what I keep my distress inks in at the moment because I don't have many of them. So that can sit there. I've got to take some plastic containers and some packaging so that I can use my stuff. So I've got some packaging. I might actually put it... Should I do this? Uh, it's kind of a waste, isn't it? I might just put that on the bottom and then a couple of... I keep the um, empty... Um, what do you call this? 
packaging from embellishment packets and things so put a couple of these in of varying sizes and so I can either wipe them out and reuse them or I can just chuck them which is always a nice thing to do um, hmm. I'll pop these in they can sit there and some paper towel that can sit there Oh, I know what I'll put in here, my glue gun. So I've got I've got my new fuse tool that can pop in there and some glue sticks for my glue gun and my little glue gun here. I think I just my husband got this for me for my birthday. Yep, that's how geeky I am. I asked for a hot glue gun. Um, and so I think he just got it from Spotlight, I'm pretty sure, or, yeah, I don't know where he got it from, but that can just sit there. And I've got my heat tool, and that little baby can just go, actually, perfect. It can just sit down. You see it down here. There we go. And in this container, I'm going to put some extra tapes and things that I might need. Okay, top shelf time. So this is a little box with some random photos in it. I am going to print some more and put them in there um, a bit later on. These two little plastic containers are my punches that I was talking about before. So I'm going to pop those there. I'm going to put some washi tape in there, but not yet because that takes too long to go through all my washi. And then, you know, I love my thickers, so I've gone through them and look, this was the least I could do. <laughs> look, okay, on a serious note though, I scrap super fast. So I, I can scrap about 12 layouts in about five hours probably four or five hours I scrap really quickly maybe four hours especially if I'm on a roll so I know people say you'll never make as many layouts as you think you will but I I like my thickers so they're just going to hang out there then I've got my scrap box which I've showed before on videos and I'm always trying to dig into this and um, I think it will be good to um, put my scraps in so that's going there I've got some six by six paper pads that I want to get through I'm not taking too much um, extra paper I'm really only taking the paper that's in the kits um, so these will be for my layering basically actually there's something I've forgotten almost forgot my layering thing so in here I've just put a bag of doilies some bags some tissue paper and this is just one of those um, plastic like file folders from a stationery store so what I might actually do is take these out the photos put them elsewhere bang bang pop that in there that's better and then what can I put in there what can I put in there okay for sure some of you were screaming at me Adele roller stamps freaking roller stamps peeps so I've put this little container in here I've put in some washi I'm gonna I just got a haul which, oh, do you want to see it now? No, I'll show you it. I'll do a quick video. Um, so I'm going to change out some of them, but I just put it there to remind me. So I'm just going to go with ye old favourites, October afternoon. I love that one. And my Heidi Swap. That one. I haven't used this one for a while. Let's chuck that one in too. Now... My stays on, 
I'm going to bring this or stays on. My stays on's been a bit temperamental lately. Mm, nah, that one will do. Oh, no, I better bring my stays on. I'll fix that up later. So yeah, roller stamps. And that's my Rascog sorted, I think. So pretty happy with that. Now on to the bag. Okay, so now time for the bag. So what I've done is I've taken my last two hip kits, my June one I've already put in, and this is my July kit. And I've taken everything out of the packaging. Um, <laughs> we all know this isn't going to get used, guys, but I'm taking it with me and I'm going to offer it to someone because... There's no use for it in my life. Um, so I've put them in these 12 by 12 containers from Spotlight. And I'm going to pop them in. There you go. Hang on a second, guys. So it turns out there's a pocket inside which you can move, which I didn't realize you could. And that's what was making that noise. So my tip for you is if you subscribe to a kit club um, before you go to a crop, maybe just hold off on using them um, and save them up. So I've saved up two kits here. I'll easily get 20 layouts from each of those, which will be good. Um, and one of the kits I'm not a giant fan of, so I probably won't kill it. Um, but this one I definitely will. The July one I definitely will. So if you're a member of a kit club, save them up. If not, make your own kits up. So this little one here whoops, um, is a kit that I put together in July. I called it my July inky kit. Um, I'll see if I can remember to link the video down below of how I made this kit and what's in it. Um, and so make your own kits up. Now I haven't picked photos to go with this. You could. Um, it's kind of just my general style it'll go with wedding ones it'll go with every day i can make it into project life so i'm going to take that as well way too much stuff like i said guys way too much but we'll just keep packing um then i need to catch up on project life i'm only up to april it's now august so i've grabbed my latest two um citrus twist project life kits i'm gonna slide them down here and down there and then I know I said I wasn't going to bring any 12 by 12 paper but I thought if I just took this confetti paper pad there is so much variety in this that I won't be in trouble because I might want to do strips like right across so I'm just going to slide that one down there and then I think that's it for that section so I'll zip it up I can find the zipper. Perfect. <laughs> um, in this front pocket, I'm going to put, um, actually in the side pockets, I'm going to put some punches. So the punches that I have picked. Sorry guys, I'm on the floor and my legs are going everywhere keep knocking the camera so the punches that I've picked are just I use them I use them on pretty much every maybe second layout um, I've got my giant heart I've got this one I'm just adding in just to challenge myself it's like a scalloped circle I've got my hole punch in case I want to make some, some of my own tags this one if I lost this I would have to go to the shops the next day and get another one and then these two we might put around the other side. Alrighty. I did forget two very important things. First is stencils. What am I going to do with modeling paste without stencils? So I'm only bringing one big one and it's because it's new and I really want to use it. So I'm going to put that in the bag. And then I just grab some old faithfuls and I'm just going to put them in here. There we go. Um, and then also I realised that the one of the hip kits came with um, some embossing powder. So I 
thought I'd better bring some Versamark and I just grabbed another few embossing powders because I finally found them after losing them for about two years. So I'm just going to put that, actually before I put that in, I grabbed a couple of extra stamps because I want to have a go at getting back into a boss embossing. So I grabbed some that had some nice text and that camera and the feather I really want to do. Um, so I'm just going to put those in the bag as well and just pop it on my mixed media shelf. Some of you are probably thinking, oh my gosh Adele, you need to stop. But I I I want to take a lot, I want to, I don't want to get bored with what I'm doing. So I'm just going to pop those in there. Also, um, my mini alphas wouldn't fit at the top. So let's see. Perfect. I can squeeze them there. Um, and let's see. I'm doing Project Life and catching up on four months of Project Life. I need some Project Life cards. So this little bag holds all of the wedding ones that I've got from the Southern Weddings collection. It's got the wedding chipboards and the wedding 6x6 paper pads. So I'm definitely bringing that because my wedding albums are getting done, whether they like it or not. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to bring what I've got of the fine and dandy because I do like that one and I haven't had a play with it really yet. I'm bringing the desktop, which I don't really need, but I'm going to bring it anyway. And then I just grabbed some 4x6s as well. Because a lot of the time, like with the citrus twist kits, they don't give you 4x6s, they only give you 3x4s. And then I'm going to put this in my car, but not bringing it in. It's my big container with all of my cards because it won't hurt just to have it in my car but you should if I if I wasn't driving or if I was going with other people I wouldn't worry about it but because I'm not I can then I'm just going to chuck these in as well because I've got a little bit of space there the um like title you know thicker things so I'm going to pop those in and zip it up And I'm done. I think I did pretty good considering. Um, so like I said, I'm only going to bring in two albums at a time. The rest will just stay in my car, as will that black box. So all I'll have is my Raskog, my craft bag, tabletop bag, tabletop basket, and two albums. Pretty good, I think. And I packed a whole heap of stuff in there. Bringing your Raskog is a great idea, but check with the venue first that you can bring them couple of extra things that aren't in bags and aren't really crafty. Well, I'm going to bring my craft mat so that I've got a surface to work on. Can you see that? Hang on. So I'm going to bring my craft mat. It's quite dirty. Um, I'm also going to bring just a cotton bag in case I buy things from the shop or I can't pack things up as good as I've got them now. So I'm going to bring that. Um, I'm going to bring this little container has all of my ephemera from the last five months fun wasn't that cute it's a card one of the kids made me um, so that's for project life I might not use it all but it's got like invitations and things so bring that along I might like, oh I can fit it in the red box I'm also going to bring an extension cord because I was advised by a girl that I was talking to that has been to lots of crops to do that before. Oh my goodness! Can you see that? Can you see what the naughty bunnies have done? Holy moly! It's still working. Maybe I shouldn't bring this one. Maybe this one should go in the bin. It still works because I was using it last night. Oh, naughty bunnies! So, a different extension cord. Um, I'm going to bring a little throw rug blanket to put over my legs at night time because I might be scrapping till the wee hours of the morning. And I'm bringing a hot water bottle because it's winter here and it's freaking cold and my Ugg boots, but I'm wearing them right now. So, they're going to stay on my feet for a bit longer. Um, 
of course I'm going to bring my phone charger, I'm going to bring my iPad and um, camera, also going to bring my a pillow, um, I might bring, I was told to, I was told by another girl to maybe bring a cushion to sit on, um, so that's an idea. I've got a few, I think, I think they're for outdoor chairs, like just a little padded one that I might chuck in the car, depending on what the seats are like. And I think, of course my photos, I haven't printed them yet. Um, I think that's it. I think I might put my picture mate in the car. Doubtful, but I might. Yeah, I think I'm all packed up. Woo, ready to go. So let me know down below if there's anything else that you can think of. Um, so I'll just go over a little summary. I've got albums with photos. I've got paper and cards. I have letter stickers. I have stamps. I have mixed media. I have embellishments galore. I have my necessity items and my punches. All right, so thanks for watching guys. I think I've got everything. Fingers crossed. I haven't got the kitchen sink. Oh, gotta get everything but the kitchen. Um, I th I'm pretty sure I've overpacked. I know I've overpacked, but like I said, I'd rather have too much than too little and it might make me reconsider buying from the shop if I have nowhere to put it or if I only have one, one little bag to put it in. We can hope. We can try, can't we? All right, so thanks. That was a really loud clap. Fight myself. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will do a little face-to-face -face video when I get back and I'll show you all of the layouts that I've made. Might have to do it in a couple of parts though because I'm hoping for a marathon. Got my muscles, my scrapping muscles ready. If you can have scrapping muscles, I don't know if that's a thing. And I don't have any muscles so let's just pretend I do. And I'll... I'm delirious now. We need to turn this off. We need to shut it down, Adele. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! All right, so I'm back from Camp Mojo, and there are a couple of things that I learnt and a couple of things that I freaking forgot, but I remembered on the way up there. So, first of all, I forgot white cardstock. Now, if you've watched my videos, you'll realise that white cardstock is the base of all of my freaking 12x12 layouts. So, um, yeah, that was kind of stupid, Adele. So, I grabbed a pack. Luckily, I went past a spotlight on my way up. So, white cardstock I definitely include. And page protectors. I needed page protectors as well. So, I grabbed these too. And, funnily enough, remember how I was talking about that um, handbag insert thing that I bought off eBay it arrived the d like right after I finished filming so um, this is it I thought I'd just show it to you so it's a handbag organizer and it clips up on the side so you can have it skinnier or you can open it up and have it nice and fat and so it's got lots of sections it's got two zipper bits here and a big bit in the middle it's got pockets it's got smaller pockets and I had this filled up I undid the um, the caddy that I put together and put it all into here but it was good because in this part I clipped together all of those tiny word stickers and things so I put them all in here with my um, what else did I put? No, I think I just put those in there. I put all my adhesives in one, my tiny attacher in another, and then I just stuck all of those other bits and pieces, the um, baker's twine on the paddle pop sticks and my pens. And so, yeah, this worked really well. So eBay was about $3 and it is amazing. One of the best scrappy things I've bought lately. So that's the couple of extra things that I took Things that I learnt, um, turns out I didn't need to bring that many kits. I knew that was going to happen, but, you know, I thought I'd rather have them than be, you know, without them. So really, I should have only taken two kits. Um, I had a blast. It was so much fun. I need to bring lollies. So bring some sort of chocolate, nibbly, lolly, something to chew on. Um, but th other than that, I think I had enough stuff. And I will show you a layout flick through of what I did. Sorry about the paint. I've been art journaling. Um, 
but yeah, I think I brought enough and I bought a lot of stuff too. So the, the whole video for that might already be uploaded. So I'll do a layout share soon and thanks for watching and please comment below if there's anything else you think that um, is handy to take to a crop or a retreat. Remember this was a three night one, so it was a big one. Um, if I was only going for a one night one, I would halve what I took really. Um, but my big tips are three tips. Let's think of three tips. Tip number one, it's handy to put together page kits before you go um, or bring like a collection with you. That made it a lot easier. Tip number two, let's see. Tip number two, take, I found it good to take a couple of different projects. So I took my wedding album, I took my project life, which I didn't end up touching. Um, and then I took some small embellishments that I could make. Um, and it ended up, I also took some art journaling stuff. Um, so it's nice to have like a variety because you do get bored of the same thing after a while. And tip number three, have fun. Just enjoy it. If you don't get things done, who cares? You had fun, you made friends and you just got a chance to be creative for a long time without interruptions. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.